going live, going live, going live. I'm rinsing my rice. We need to wash our rice three times. I'm going to go back over to the sink, so you're going to lose me here for a minute. But triple wash your rice. Why do we triple wash our rice? Well, part of it is rice has a lot of uh, cyanide in it, right? So over time, most rice has cyanide in it. And so we like to rinse our rice as much as we can. So I am a proponent for whole grains, beans, legumes, vegetables, fruits, seeds, nuts, all of those things, mushrooms. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing jollof rice. And the original recipe with is with black-eyed peas. We're going to do it with beans because that's all I could find, right? So I'm using... I've talked about the hierarchy of high health many times before. Cans are fraught with a little bit of problems because in the old days they had BPA on the inner lining, right? So they've changed over time. Are they a little better? Yes. Is it best to cook your own beans from scratch? Yes. That is the ideal. That is the highest level of the hierarchy. But today the recipe also calls for cooked beans. These are Pinto beans, they are not the uh, black-eyed peas from the original recipe. We're going to go over the original recipe, jollof, jasmine rice, and black-eyed peas. So, hey, we're using brown rice today, so it might take a little, a little bit longer to cook. Cook time is 35 minutes. I'm going to just read you off the ingredients very quickly. Two cups of jasmine rice. I am using less because I've got one can of beans. One can of beans is about two cups if it's a 15-ounce can. So two cups of jasmine rice. I'm going to use one and a third cup of uh, brown rice. Uh, three cups cooked black-eyed peas. I could not find a can of black-eyed peas. So we've got us just some pinto beans. That's one can, 16 ounces. Uh, one 13-ounce can tomato sauce. We're going to be using about three-quarters of this can three and a half cups of water because I'm adjusting everything. I've got two cups of water back here on the back table. Um, one and a half cups, or I'm sorry, a half cup diced onions. I'm doing about a third cup of diced onions. Might be a little more. I love my onions. So just know that six cloves of garlic minced. I did not get that out. We're going to be doing about two uh tablespoons of that two cloves of garlic this is gonna be we're gonna try to adjust this for about two but i love my garlic too so i might go a little crazy on that um one tablespoon curry powder we got us some curry powder we're gonna do about a third tablespoon of that we're gonna do a half tablespoon of thyme i'm sorry we're gonna do a sixth tablespoon because i'm adjusting things this has thyme in it it is Herbs de Provence. That's the closest I've got. Spanish paprika, original recipe, one tablespoon, a teaspoon. I'm going to do a third of a teaspoon. And they use a two tablespoons of canola oil. I am not going to use oil because I cook without oil when I do this show. I am hardcore for silver knives for the show. Getting at whole plants are the most healthy. Sometimes you're not going to be able to do it, so you eat as healthy as you can. So I would suggest that the Mediterranean diet is probably the second best option. I've got a pan back here. I've had some heat on it for a while. So in the recipe, it says heat oil in a medium pan, deep skillet, saute onions for three to five minutes. We're going to do that. I love a cutting board that you can bend. As I cook more and more, I love a bendable cooking board. I'm going to put a little bit of water in my pan here just to see how hot it's very hot, boys and girls. I might be getting a little bit more water for my uh, dish here because, so I'm gonna try to watch this real good so that I don't burn my onions. Onions like to stick everything here. So we're gonna just put those in there. We're gonna use a spatula so I don't blacken my pan too much. That's some pretty high heat. We're going to slow the cooking process down. Look at that. Let's get the vent fan on because we're starting to make some noise here. 
I'm going to be putting a little bit more water in this because I've already used some to kind of slow the cooking process down. That heat was a little more than we needed for these onions. So we're going to saute these onions down. I like them. I like to get them to where they're translucent, right? So we spend some time getting those to where they are translucent. And I need to get another camera and get it over the um, over the stove so you can see what we're doing here on our stove. So uh, I might turn my heat up a little bit. I want this to slow the cooking process down. That's one of the tricks that you can use. If things are cooking too fast and you've got to step away from the oven, oven for a minute because you're talking to the camera, you can use water to slow the cooking process down. So we're going to let those kind of go. Uh, in our recipe, it says it's going to take three to five minutes. We're going to put three minutes on the timer here. Just see if that sounds accurate. It smells really good. I love the smell of onions. I love garlic. So the next step is uh, add tomato sauce and cook for another five to seven minutes. We're going to use about because I'm adjusting things because I've got one can of beans. A can of beans is about two cups of, if it is a 15.5 ounce can, that is close to 16 ounces. That is nearly two cups. It's 1.9 cups if you want to get extremely technical. Once this goes for about three minutes, then we're going to throw us in some tomato sauce. I might try to make some tomato sauce from scratch just for the hell of it. Uh, I think that once again, if you get away from cans, if you're cooking yourself, that is the most healthy. So am I practicing the most healthy? Am I practicing exactly what I pre preach? Not exactly. Uh, but I am trying to do better in my diet. So let me tell you a tale of two parents. When I was a kid, my parents... I love my parents, uh, and the biggest problem was they were very different. My mom was a health food junkie, and my dad was a junk food junkie. So uh, I spent a lot of time with my mom in health food stores, getting finding food that I was not necessarily the biggest fan of. And... It was probably the best for me. So I made a conclusion in my mind when I was very young that junk food was amazing for the taste. So as I get older, I try to find ways that I make whole plant food taste amazing, right? That's my goal. And if I can get you to eat some of those foods, that is my goal for this channel. I would love for you to eat more whole plant foods in your diet because I think that that is the number one thing, especially in America here, that we can improve on to have less chronic disease. Um, so if you are not somebody who is following a very healthy diet, this is one way that you, having more whole plants in your diet is the way to go, in my opinion. So this, this um, we're going to go ahead and put our tomato sauce in here, but this is a... A um, recipe that is based on what they eat in many parts of Africa. I think from what I've read, Ghana and was it Nigeria? There's a little difference in how they cook it. The Nigerians use a little bit more spice. This is probably based more on a uh, Ghanaian recipe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook this with the sauce for uh, five minutes. We're gonna start this kitchen timer again. We're gonna put five minutes on here. And we're gonna just let that cook down. We're gonna let the heat affect all the flavors, get them all combined in there very well. So we're gonna add a cup of water and the rice and or everything except for the rice and beans. So we're gonna put the spices, the minced garlic, all that good stuff in here. 
will happen again in five minutes. Uh, once again, I try to keep these shows to about 20 minutes, so you will not see the end of the cook process, but I will put a video in the YouTube channel, in the Facebook channel, that shows you the end product. So we basically are showing you how to cook. I would love for people to cook with me. Uh, if you are so inclined and if you are good on camera, I would love for you to teach me a recipe that you know that is highly plant-based. So if you cook it with oil, with salt, with sugar, with flour, I am going to omit those. So if we can make a recipe that would taste great, that is mainly the whole plants, then I would love to cook with you right here on Saturdays. So if you have an amazing dish, I would love to know about it and I would love to cook it with you. So having said that, we're going to just turn, we're gonna turn this heat up just a little bit here. We're going to let this go for another four minutes. We may let that go a little bit longer, just depending on how it smells, how it looks. So one of the things that I would suggest to you is the better you get at cooking, the more you can just look at different things. So kind of as a sidebar, meat. A lot of times uh, meat, you can tell how the cooking process is by how firm the meat is. And this is one of the things that I was taught is you feel the meat of your thumb area here. And the muscle in your thumb, depending on what finger you're touching, is how well the steak is done. We're not cooking steak. Uh, once again, this is the Pop in the Plant Flavor show. So we're all about plants. We're all about, it is my opinion, opinion that vegan is the healthiest. And, or let me phrase it even better, whole plant Based. The more plants you can get into your diet, the healthier it is. Uh, Mediterranean is a very close second. And I would suggest that the more you can get away from meat, the better your health is. Once again, we're going to let this go for about three more minutes. We're going to just kind of talk here as we're cooking. We're going to turn the heat up a little bit here. We've got a little bit of smoke coming off of this. I think that is about perfect. We're gonna let that cook for a couple minutes. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I can add pepper to everything. To me, pepper is the master spice. Um, so we're gonna just add a little bit of pepper. This. I like to add pepper to everything. Pepper to me is an amazing flavor. So once again, salt, especially if you've already got high blood pressure, if you've already got problems going on with the function of your heart, I think that salt is something that you should eliminate from your diet. And so many things, probably in these beans, they've got too much salt. That's part of the reason that when I use beans, I rinse them thoroughly and I drain the can multiple times to get out as much of the extra additives that they have in that as possible. We've got 59 more minutes. We're going to add a cup of water, the rest of the ingredients, including other than the beans and the rice, we're gonna be putting us in some garlic, lots of spices. Once again, this is supposed to be thyme. It's not all just thyme. Paprika and some curry powder, right? So basically, two cloves of minced garlic in here. This is starting to bubble a little bit. Perfect. I love it. So one, two cloves of garlic, minced garlic, a third of a teaspoon of I'm sorry, a third of a teaspoon of curry powder. A half tablespoon of thyme. A teaspoon of paprika. I'm using a third because I'm not using quite as much as 
they're asking for. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and put in a cup of water. We're going to let that simmer for... We're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. We're gonna cover, we're gonna let that simmer. This canvas, this uh, top does not actually fit this pot great, but we're just trying to keep some of that heat in. We're gonna let that go for about 10 minutes. Then we are going to add uh, triple wash your rice, which we've already done. Add to the skillet together with beans, two more cups of water, adjust seasoning if necessary. Seal skillet, skillet tightly with foil then lid reduce heat to medium and cook for 25 minutes so we're letting this cook for about 10 minutes and then 25 minutes once again like i said i'm going to cut these off short about 20 minutes to 25 minutes just talking about what i think is healthy how to cook how to experiment with cooking and the best way to go about that we pick a recipe i would love to cook with people on the channel and anybody that is interested in cooking and showing off their skills i would love to learn from you so we're going to go ahead and put our timer on here we're going to put that at nine minutes because we've already been going for about a minute and we're going to just let those flavors combine I love me some curry. I'm going to add a little bit more curry. What the heck? Also, curry has an amazing component called turmeric. So curry spice typically has more than one spice in it, and turmeric is one of those. Turmeric is extremely good for you. And what I would suggest is the more turmeric you can get into your diet, do it. Uh, if you're also worried about your muscle mass and you are completely vegan like I am. Beans. You need a lot of beans, legumes, peas, hemp. Uh, all these things have high protein. And if you were completely vegan, also I would suggest to you that if you are completely vegan, you're going to need to supplement with a little bit of vitamin B12. Now that amount is small and it's always best recommended to check your blood work every year at a minimum to make sure that you are not deficient in certain vitamins and b12 is one of them that would be amazing if you checked for yourself so um having said that what we're going to do here is we're going to finish cooking i'm not going to show you putting in the rice and the beans but that's going to be the next step is just putting in the rice and beans and covering it with foil and letting it cook for 25 minutes. So I'm going to show you the finished product when we're done. You guys have a great Saturday. Talk soon.